Liam Hannaway, this uh, I'm speaking to you on the occasion of the uh, the day of the first evening meeting of your tenure as the new chief executive of our council, Newry Morn and Down. Yeah, yeah. Uh, trepidation? Are you raring to go? No, I'm looking forward to it. It's going it's to be good. It's the start of an era. It's, you know, it's like it's like history being made. Last major organisation back in nineteen. 1972, mm. and here we are, what is it now, oh, 40, 40 odd years later, next change, so uh, I certainly not see the next one rolling. <laughs> I, so. I was saying to you that uh, I remember so well reporting out of the town hall in Newry on Newry Urban District Council. You know, Newry yes, Urban yes, Council, yes, no yes, district yeah, in yeah, it. Yeah. Newry Urban Council, yeah. and that must—that's forty years ago. Uh, it must be. That's the end of the sixties. If you yeah, take it that the last absolutely. council yeah. finished in seventy-two, probably had a four-year term. Mm -hmm. It must have been roughly nineteen sixty-eight or something yeah. like that. There, you know, you're they're, giving away your age, Roland. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they're missing you greatly in Banbridge, I hear. Ah, I had a brilliant time in Banbridge. Yeah. Fourteen very, very happy years. Yeah. Loved every minute of it. Missed, missed le you know, leaving it. But then the, the shake-up comes and, yeah. and uh, I suppose that's people change and people mm. move on. And sometimes it's th I think, you know, as I said to my guys in Banbridge, you know, it was a, uh, it maybe, maybe it worked out for the best because, mm. you know, the existing person, it's easier for a new person coming in, mm. can take a fresher look at things, has got no baggage, yeah. has got no preconceptions. So they actually can make better decisions yeah. and, you know, if I had stayed in Banbridge, perhaps, you know, with our man Craig Avon would have been always saying I was taking a Banbridge slant on to it. So, <laughs> so when I'm in Newry and Down, you're, you're, clean. Know, it's, you're it's, clear. It's, it's clear it's, it's a new area. Yeah. And I suppose the great thrill for me is being a South Armagh man coming into the area. I don't know whether it's been a South Armagh clerk of the, of I don't the know, council. No, of the no, we, had, we, had, uh, we had others. We had the O'Neills, we had the O'Hagans, we had the... Yeah. Who was it before that? Oh, I, yeah, I Tom McCall, of course. Tom McCall, yeah, now. Great man, course. yeah. Tom's yeah. a great fellow. Yeah. And yeah. Eagerly looking forward to his retirement, well. I think. Well deserved. Uh, well, deserved. well yeah, deserved. But again, so, so from my point of view, it's great to be saying is mm. that, you know, you know, when, when they talk about the first clerk of the new council, they'll be talking about me. So about Liam that's Hannaway. great, you know. So it's your it's, dad would be proud of you. He would be proud of me. Yeah, yeah, he, uh, he, be, yeah, yeah. he raised you for greatness because he raised you on, <laughs> on the boards of stages, and you were always you were always involved. You were always yeah. presenting things. You yeah. were always there as a as an actor doing things of importance in Lisley. Yeah, well, I must admit, uh, I would say that. That uh, certainly, from an acting point of view, or from a drama point of view, or from an artistic point of view, it's, it gives you a great, you know, it gives you a great sense. It probably gives you a great sense of community in the first instance. It gives you also a great sense about about presentation and about how important it is to engage with people and communications and relationships. And these are the real things that you need to, especially currently, young people. They talk about education, but you really can't beat the social skills. I think mm -hmm. are critically important. Mm -hmm. You, uh, they go a long way in terms of making things happen. You know, if you get on with people and you have a good relationship with people, well, it, it, it certainly, will happen, it, you know? it certainly, uh, it certainly captures their attention. If you meet, if if you meet with someone and there is a there is a friendly exchange and a straightforward mm -hmm. exchange, yeah. and if you don't have the social skills to do that, then it's a, it's rather more of an uphill battle. I would have thought. It is. So, like you know, that you can be the best academic in the world and best scientist in the world or the best business person mm. in the world but if you can't talk to people and if you can't relate to people you're going to have trouble getting on Absolutely. in life you know so we uh, mentioned your dad what what kind of house did you grow up in i remember him as a great teacher in the abbey no i remember maybe three people of whom i could say in retrospect they were great teachers mm. your father is one of them mm. uh, a second one is uh, brother mcfarlane the english teacher right and the third one would be Jimmy Haffey. All right, Those are three yes. men I would I would have gone to the wall for. Yeah. Uh, others I wouldn't have been so readily willing to sacrifice anything for. Mm -hmm. So you must be very proud that your father was I, such a teacher. I, I such was. A man. He was a good teacher. Though he actually only ever taught me for about three months. Really. I I, I spent went to the Slay Primary School. Yes. Uh, and before it closed with you know with amalgamation mm. with with Kamla where. Some Malagies, but I, I left Lisley School in I think about February March, 
of uh, 71, I think it was. Mm. But uh, and then I went to, uh, I went to, and then I moved to his school. I was only there for a while. Mm. So actually, in terms of teaching me, he he never taught me that much. But of course, he taught me as a as a father. He was always about yeah. that. But my my dad was a great man for community. He was a great man, as you know, for drama. He's a great man contributing to society. And I suppose he instilled them sort of uh, belief into ourselves, which sort of. Which means that you know you always feel you got to give, you know, mm. and and you get more out of giving to your community. Whether yeah. so, whether you're involved in drama, or whether you're involved mm. in community associations, or whether you're involved in charities or voluntary organisations, that, that there's you know, when you give to that in terms of your time and, and the amount you get back from that mm. there in terms of you know goodwill and self satisfaction mm. and making a contribution to society mm. that you live in, you know. I suppose you're kind of answering my next question. It was, you know, I was thinking of your dad, where does greatness go when greatness dies? Mm. It lives uh, on within, within the hearts and the spirit and the attitudes of those left behind. And my greatness is still to be determined whether ah, no, you've the, there. I'm talking you're, attitudinally. You've, ah, you, have right. The right, you have the right cut to your jib to use a non-South Armagh, <laughs> very much Carlingford Locks, ailing term. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have a good cut to your jib and you're, you've got good attitudes and yeah. that must have come down from him and from your mummy. Well, yeah, yeah, you'd like to think that both of them would have been mm. that, that would have rubbed off on you in some mm. sort of way, yeah, but it is, it's... It, it, it's easy done it's it's easy you know to take that approach you yeah. know it's it's much more difficult and you you can waste a lot of energy you know around mm. people or yeah you know not not looking to find an answer to things you know mm. that that causes more annoyance and as I said more lack of energy mm -hmm. by working with people you get much much more done you absolutely. know and, and absolutely. you get much more satisfaction so you, why you not go that way you've thrown me a wee bit because you mentioned the school that you went to before Camelisley uh, but didn't you? Was, wasn't he headmaster at the school in the corner, just on the Bestbrook Road? No, in Clockray, yeah. St Peter's Clockray. Yeah, that's right. He was. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah. I, but why am I thinking I remember him from the Abbey? He taught in the Abbey. He, he when he finished teacher training, he went to the Abbey. That's when I would have known him. That's right. He would have been there along with great names like John Bell and John, Bell. John McAvoy John, and John uh, McAvoy. Willie Bradley. Yeah. There's a number of them all, all taught, you know, yeah. uh, and he and of course the a number of the brothers that he, you know mm. he really got on great with, you know, all yeah. through the years, you know, having been in Abbey by himself and then yeah. come out he went in, he went into the Abbey. And Were then you he an went Abbey to Abbey boy. Were you I was I went yeah. to the Abbey, I went to the, the Abbey grammar, yeah. yeah. Um, and then he went he went and taught he taught a while in Bestbrook. And then mm -hmm. he then he then he become principal in, in, in St Peter's Clockray mm -hmm. in sixty five I think it was mm -hmm. roughly you know, mm -hmm. but yeah no and but yeah that was his. At what at what stage in in your growing did the did the thought come to you that you wanted to be in public administration? I think I've always had an interest in public administration. Why? I, I did. Why? It's an well, I don't one. know. It, well, it isn't. It isn't. Uh, I, you know, it just I suppose. Uh, <laughs> people are saying is what, what, what your philosophy to life is. You know, I believe that, you know, public sector get a very bad name. You know, it's, you know, lazy people in the public sector and they get too well paid and, you know. But I, I find it totally untrue. I, I, I did sociology at, at university and I think maybe that that sort of that, that approach in terms of in terms of improving society and how you can actually you know how you can contribute to say if you take the whole welfare state the establish the welfare state and the, that whole philosophy of the sort of 1990s you know sort of you know so the 1900s in terms of how they brought on to try to target levels of deprivation within the communities and then I worked for uh, and then I went to work for the housing executive and I worked in Divis Flats and yeah. worked in West Belfast during that whole redevelopment of, of, of Divis Flats and West mm. Belfast. Were you there in Paddy McIntyre's day? Uh, Paddy, yeah. Paddy actually Paddy McIntyre interviewed me recruited me to my first job yeah. yeah yeah Paddy was there he he was in uh, he, before going to that, it was Blee's first of all, then from yeah, Blee's. Right. Was, John, was, was John Gorman actually first? John Gorman, God rest him, just Rod, died. Just this died. Week, this week, yeah. What a wonderful John. funeral over in Killy Lay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Irish yeah. Regiment of Guards there That's with right, a wolf yeah. hound in yeah, Killy Lay. Yeah, 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 goodness. But then there was John Gorman then, and, and then uh, Victor Blee's mm. and then Paddy McIntyre. But Paddy McIntyre would have been a uh, senior principal, he was in charge of the whole. Mm. Housing Management Central Unit, which developed a lot of the policies in the early days mm -hmm. for the 70, 
70s, early 80s for the housing executive. And, and Paddy, as I said, recruited me as a as a management trainee back yeah. in 1980, you know. My goodness. And then, but again, the housing executive was a marvellous organisation, you know, absolutely, in terms of what it did. Oh, yeah. You remember when we came out of, in terms of 87, the levels of dereliction, <sighs> probably the worst, worst housing in the whole of yeah. Europe. Absolutely. And how they turned around yeah. from that levels of slums, yeah. you know, the, the whole so issue of Divis Flats mm -hmm. and the whole community tension, their mm -hmm. involvement with building communities and supporting communities, yeah. you know, it wasn't about the houses and the infrastructure, it was also about how they kept the community together, facilitated mm -hmm. community development and, and helping communities to help themselves. But I remember, I remember working uh, for the housing, you were one of my clients, a lad that w within your, your uh, your creative side of it was Reg Perry. Lovely remember lad. Reg, yes. Reg yeah, is a great, yeah, great fellow. Yeah, Lovely yeah, lad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we made, we made your, your, your films. Uh, All right, yes, But yes. the things we were being shown uh, was the development, for example, maybe, maybe the, the name doesn't uh, do it justice, but of Craig Avon. Yes, but we yeah. saw communities growing. That's we right, saw the yeah. thing you were talking about, yeah. whereas I was coming from a background of Newry, where you almost stood in a street corner to meet your local councillor and mm -hmm. say, look, any chance of getting me a house? Mm -hmm. What's the hope? And you were, you were begging almost. Mm -hmm. and if you got the right ear of the councillor, you would get a house. But it seems to me, Liam, you're, you're now, you're a man that likes to do things and get things done. Mm. You're quite limited in, in the role because you're, a, you're an administrator, not a doer. How, what's the formula mm -hmm. for satisfying both demands? Well, I, I suppose what my experience to date has been is that you can do things together when people work together. Like I have 41 councillors from across, mm -hmm. stretching from St. Field or Ardlass mm -hmm. to That's across right. Bredown, Colleville. It's a very, very long area from Newton Hamilton, yeah. you know, right out, you know, as far as, you know, the whole sort of IUC, you take Absolutely. that from our glass well, could, right down to Canada. I, I, I'd, Black, I'd ask you a question now, and I'm sure you were asked at your interview board. You know, how are you, how are you going to deal with that diversity of geography and of people? Well, I, well, I think, well, I'll probably t I'll link your two questions together to sort of say is, you know, how do you get things done? Well, first of all, it's about, there is the, pol the pol politicians within the councillors mm -hmm. have to work along with the, with the staff into it. Mm -hmm. And I suppose what we have got is, what, how we do get things done is, we have now got planning, we'll move to the new councillors. Councillors will be making planning decisions from the 1st of April 2015. We will also have, in terms of regeneration, the transfer of a budget of roughly about six and a half million for regeneration budget for the new council area will transfer in from the Department of Social Development. And we'll have increased economic powers. Now they they enhance a current role that the that the council has. So what we will want to do is to start to develop an area plan uh, which will look at how we see what is the vision for our area district. And I think when you work in a big area, it has its pros and its cons, you know. Newry and Moran was quite a consolidated area and mm -hmm. therefore you could work into it. This is a much bigger area now. That brings its own challenges in terms of, as you say, the geographic spread mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. different communities. What has a community in Sinfield got to do with mm -hmm. a community in Colleville? But the, at the same point in time, each of the communities have to work within their own particular area as part of a, 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 wider, ho a mm. wider whole. And on, a basis, on that basis, what you can actually do is bring the good, the good aspects of the good learning within each of them communities and actually spark off each other mm -hmm. and learn from each other. So I think that we can do a lot. Of, yeah. We can do a lot. And if you take it that, you know, at this point in time, if you take the Moorns, you know, take the Moorns and stretch from Carringford mm -hmm. Lock right to our glass and the potential of that area from a tourism perspective, you know, but just been previously split up. So you have mm -hmm. three or four organisations. Yeah. You have one organisation which will have responsibility yeah. for that. You have one organisation which can actually set the vision. Mm -hmm. You have one organisation which can develop the plans for bringing that forward. Now, that's where I mm -hmm. think this new council has magnificent opportunities going forward. In a, in, in a kind of a way, it's coming to me as a, as a vision of... Uh, of a microcosm of the European community. We have, we have the one parliament, but mm. we have the diverse spokes mm -hmm. of the wheel coming from the hub. So, yeah. you know, it won't change Strangford, uh, just as it won't change Colleville, no. but you made the point that each, each will contribute to the whole and bring its yeah. own its own uh, particular excellences yeah. to it. Yeah, and, and, and particular needs, you know, like 
a fishing community is much different than in terms yeah, of, a, of a you know a rural community in terms of if you take my own community around the Slay and, and South Armagh mm -hmm. you know it, the a rural community the needs of a rural community is totally different than a fishing community. but at the same mm -hmm. point in time they're both they're all communities they community are. is the link and their needs and how they develop themselves and how they organise themselves and how you can build their capacity to deliver for them there will be the role of the new council. I have to ask you, the, uh, the out-of-town business that the council, mm. first of all, not in your day, the council supported and now within the last week has reversed that decision the, and the people in the heart of the town saying that it's bad planning. What's the situation there as far as council is concerned? Well, I suppose the, the, the council has taken its position, the planners have taken their position, the minister's made his decision. And I suppose from my own point of view is, is, is how that decision is delivered on the ground. There is no doubt the town centre is a critical heart of any, of any community. Mm -hmm. And the maintenance and the development of town centres is critical. Out, out of town shopping has its place and they have got to work together you know they've got to work with each other and i think that's where you know you can't go back on undo decisions you know yeah. that have already been made so you've got to say this is what is the situation and how can we work together how could we can market the place together where 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 do the two uh, parts sit and how they can they how can they complement each other for their greater good mm -hmm. so i think that's something that we need to take forward in terms of looking at how we develop the whole area likewise you know how does it affect you know, are small towns or rural villages, you know, and, you know, a lot of them there, the heart has been has been dragged out of them. And so how can we work, how we can develop policies, how we can develop plans that actually can improve that and enhance that? And do that's something that we need to be thinking of going forward. Do you see within the the coterie of, of colleagues who have been elected and who are there to deliver, do you see within them, or to what extent do you see within them, the breadth of vision to take that wider look at things that you're talking about? Well, I suppose it's early days yet, you know, as mm. I said to you, the first meetings tonight, so mm. really I won't, get, I, won't, I won't get a feeling for it. And again, mm. as, a, as a new man in, I really don't. I, I haven't worked with either Down or Newry Council, mm. Uh, mm. you know, for very long. I certainly met them at the Statutory Transition Committee meeting. But, but you know, they're, they are, there's a great group of, of, of politicians, a real blend of, you know, ex long time experienced politicians yeah, yeah. with a lot of really new young mm. politicians coming in together. You have a very diverse, politically, you, you have 15 Sinn Féin, 15 SDLP, 4 DUP, 3 Ulster mm. Unionists, you know, 2 Alliance, you know, 1 UKIP, and then, then uh, 3 Independents. So a very broad perspective, mm. but also to no, no perspective dominates. Mm -hmm. So from that point of view is, it's a real opportunity to, to really do something, you know, if the politicians work together yeah. and, and work together again with the officer team. And I suppose also I would say is that the new, the new local government legislation is very, very prescriptive. Yes. It's full of checks and balances, mm. something similar to the Assembly. And, you know, it's made with so many uh, checks and balances that you actually could end up doing nothing mm. if one I, I, one group challenges mm. the other group. Mm. So from that point of perspective, very early on, we need to have an understanding, both the politicians and the officer group, that we want to work together to make things happen. Mm. And if we want to agree an overall vision going forward, and it's five years to mm. the next election, mm. that's a good amount of time for councillors to, get, isn't to it? do something. You know, yeah. Normally it's a four-year term, but actually you've got five-year terms. So yeah. there's, a, there's a real opportunity for it to get, in the first couple of years, really get their own vision of the direction they want to go and work together mm. to develop that vision for all L their communities. Lem, I'm taking you back to the notion of you being a doer of things. How are you, should it prove necessary on banging heads together? I never have to bang heads together. <laughs> it's all what about a clever, wonderful. It's, what a wonderful answer. It's about facilitation, yeah. it's about encouraging dialogue, yeah. it's about, it's a back to the point of media, it's about relationships, it's, yeah. it's having, and you know, it's I've, really been, I've been in local government now 14 years, mm. and one thing I do know is that, you know, politicians you know, are, are community workers mm. in, in, yep. in their own right. They, they, they put themselves up 
yeah. you know, to say to them, it's not an easy in. job. It's not an easy job. And they say, listen, I want to do something for my own community. I want to put myself up there. They put their head above the parapet. Mm -hmm. They want to do something. And it's my job to help facilitate that. Now, they don't go into a thing to stop things happening. They go in to make things happen. Mm -hmm. So what you need to do is to develop a plan with them to make things happen. Mm -hmm. So that's why I say it's not about doing dragging heads because, <laughs> you, want you know, to, most I'm of them interrupt him there because I saw the smile that came into his eyes <laughs> when I said to him, how are you? And banging heads together. <laughs> says, I don't have to bang heads together. <laughs> so it's all about facilitation. Yeah. And you see, the rising together. tide will lift all boats. Yeah. Because uh, wh wh what is good uh, for the Protestant is good for the Catholic. And if yeah. they work together, in broad terms, you use yes, those, 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 those yeah. appellations. But in broad terms, it, the, it, working together makes the very greatest of sense. Mm -hmm. And even in narrower terms, makes the greatest of sense. To go other than that, is going into the minutiae of historic and traditional difference, mm -hmm. which will rip people apart. Yeah. But actually, I don't even. I, I think it's more in terms of what's good. You know, if we if we can build the economy, our local economy up, and if we can develop programs which improve the health and well-being of our communities, that mm. doesn't make any difference whether you're living in Cross Midland or living in Sinfield, or you know, it's it, you know Castle, or whether you're living yeah. in, you know in, in Moran Point. So. There, there is there's a need there in terms of to develop our policies and plans which will actually take a comprehensive view for the whole area but be have the subtleties to be able to make the local yes, connections yes yeah. what's your gut telling you about the narrow water bridge well i think the narrow border bridge is you know I think it was very near delivery the last time. Mm. I'd say it's it's going to be. Will you I'd deliver say, it? When I say you, uh, I'm talking about your council and your time. Well, Oh, hopefully it is. I think that the, the level of connection between, you know, the, 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 there's no doubt there's a need to connect, you know, the, the Cooley Peninsula to, mm. you know, to, to All the, the way to, to Strangford, for goodness sake. Exactly. So that there's a, there's a major yeah. uh, economic benefit from a tourism perspective mm. of that area, you know. And the imperative is now that much greater because of that that geographic swathe all the, the way through. It's never true. thought, we never thought it ever possible. From yeah. the Boyne Valley to Strangford. That's right. You know, and you say. take, you know, the number of, you take the tourists coming into Dublin, but you take, you take this area. Mm -hmm. You're basically, you've basically three airports within an hour's drive. Mm -hmm. That's right. You know, of course, Newry Airport. Yeah, yeah. And which is very important. <laughs> I regard that as the one south of Dublin. Is that right? Or north of Dublin. <laughs> north of Dublin. That's New York Airport. So for goodness sake, you get, you get to New York. You, if you were in Glasgow, that's the distance you would travel that's to get right. from the yeah, heart of Glasgow out to the yeah, airport. Yeah. yeah. And like Has the, the economic corridor thing worn a bit thin? Have we seen enough of it? Have we heard enough of it? Or is it, oh, we, that's what got us city status. We always said we're getting city status because we're bigger than our, the sum of our parts. We, we reach out. Uh, we're on the economic corridor. Has it exhausted itself or been exhausted by the recessionary times? Well, I don't think it's exhausted itself. I think, I suppose the challenge is, and my colleagues west of the band would be making the argument that it gets too much attention mm. in terms of the economic card. But how long, the biggest population, the biggest percentage of population is Ireland, is located between Dublin and Belfast. Mm. So, you know, where you have a big, big concentration of population, you have a major potential economic mm -hmm. boost to the area. So if that economic corridor is mm -hmm. there, you know, in terms of you have both the infrastructure, you know, and as I said to you, you have the airports, yeah. but also too is how we can maximize the economic corridor to, 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 to make the connections mm -hmm. with, with the, with the Eastern Seaboard, mm. because you know you you, you have no, you have a string of towns and villages along there, and we need to see how we can make the connections. And mm. we also see we need to think about you know whether the economic corridor can work really well for for the towns and villages which are located along the border. But how can we actually build up? other pieces of attraction. So how can we look mm. at the tourism potential? How can we look at the water and the wind and the wave yes, potential? Yes, 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 you know, yes. uh, you know, on how, how can we look at our, what's the, what's the future for our ports, whether it's Warren yeah. Point, whether it's Kilkeel, whether it's yeah. Arglass. Now, wh where is their role and how can we drive that, their economic benefit, and actually maybe see the, how we can make that connection off the economic corridor to them areas? You have, sir, very considerable fire in your belly. I've always had fire in my belly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is, that same, is that same glint again that said, I don't have to bang heads together? I've always had fire. Uh, How old are you now? Oh, God, that's a, that's a leading question. I'm 54. Are you? Yeah, 55. It's a good age yeah. to be. It's a good age yeah. to be. 
But you, you wear it well. You're young looking. Yeah. I only feel, I only feel, I only feel 21. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I'll, so, fight, I'll fight my daughter. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. And you have, you have music in the family as well. Your, your son has been in here playing music for That's us right, on more yeah, than one yeah, occasion. Yeah, yeah. Grand fellow. Yeah, well, uh, all my guys are... Uh, I suppose they, they don't come into a Hanoi family, they don't have an interest in the arts and, oh, yeah, absolutely and performing. And so Who was the Hanaway I would have gone to school with? He, he, was a, he, was a, he made kitchens out in Hilltown. Oh, Pat. Pat Hanaway, that's right. Yeah, Miss, Miss McGee taught us at the that's convent right. in St. Joseph's, right. where well, we're that size there. Yeah. Pat, passed Pat away. got rest him, yeah, he's he did a couple of years he ago. Did yeah, indeed. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, well, listen, I, I, I'm kind of run my course. Have you anything you want to say to the great public there on the day of your first meeting? Well, just to, to I suppose, to, to give me time. It's a, it's, a, it's a big change and give the, give the new council time. Um, I think that there's, it's a big change that we're moving into, both in terms of mm -hmm. geographically size, big numbers of councillors and, and with additional powers. And I think there's a, there's a need you know, to, to take time to reflect on where we want to go and what is the vision for a new area and let us develop that. And then as we move forward, I think that this can be not only the greatest area in, in, in Northern Ireland, but certainly the greatest area in, in the island of Ireland. You know, uh, why should the tourism potential, the economic potential, the great community, the great infrastructure within this area uh, gives great potential to this area in terms of in 10, 20 years' time to be actually be the, the, a key destination on the, the island of Ireland? We're, we're building for a wonderful future. We are indeed. Liam Hannaway. Thanks very Thank much. Thank you very good, much indeed. Good to you Go well. God bless you. Thanks a lot.